She's been in the mouth cave, so there's probably yeah, something yeah. there. Yeah, I've been in the trouble. I'm good. Well, trouble can be good. Ask him. We're, 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 uh, we're, um, we stay on the good side of the wall. Well, it doesn't have to be we're against the Did you ever get a parking ticket? We're trying, not, ticket? We're trying not to. Actually. No, not we're, here. You don't want to set to run back. One stay to poop his pants. <laughs> oh, there you go. There you go. Well, he <laughs> got a cookie, <laughs> I guess. Uh, Twice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> here you go. All right. <laughs> <laughs> so who plays what in the band? You say it first. David plays guitar. Asia plays drums. And Abby plays bass. Wow, you guys are like so adorable, it's ridiculous. So where'd you see them play, Josie? Well, I was, um, I was 
getting ready to book our, I was in the process of booking our 2011 tour, and uh, there's a bar in Cleveland, which I love, called the Spitfire Saloon, who does web broadcasts of all their shows. So I was watching that, trying to find bands to play with, and they were playing one night, and um, they just blew me away, like right off the first song. And uh, I remember one of my friends was texting me in the bar saying, hey, turn on the Spitfire channel right now, you gotta see this band. I'm like, yeah, I'm watching them. He goes, who do they remind you of? I was like, I don't know, they kind of remind me of us. Two girls and a guy in the same configuration. And a chicken. And a chicken. At that time. Right, and I have a chicken. Oh, yeah, maybe I subliminally stole that from you. Look at that. But then um, I hit you guys up that night and said, you guys are fucking awesome. And um, when you guys saw us play that August, yeah. but didn't come up and talk to us or anything, which was really... We yeah. had to go to work. We yeah. Had. We ran in, <laughs> sat down. And you played a show that night, right? Yeah. In another place. And then we ran in, watched you guys, yeah. and we're gonna say hi, but we really had to go. Yeah. And, and then, then we, we played. Play. Um, and then we played last June. We played in uh, Indy with them, and then they came here in August and on New Year's Eve they played in my place. Cool. It's fun. So, um, why why do you say when you when people put your music on, you have to cover your ears? Because <laughs> it sounded funny. Ah, but you didn't mean it. I mean it. <laughs> Why is that? Is it loud? Our music sucks. Is that right? Cut it, cut it, cut it. <laughs> Delete that. <laughs> what do you think, Asia? Um, I don't know. I agree with Abby. <laughs> That's the first. <laughs> so who's the, who's the oldest in the band? Who's the baby? Yeah? T have no? We're all 11. <laughs> We're all on the exact same day. And what day is that? April 1st. Oh, you're clever, Abby. Very clever. I know what day that is. No, no, it's actually born on Halloween. You know what? I believe everything and nothing everybody tells me because I'm extremely gullible, but I know everybody's full of fucking shit. This is this is the absolute truth, and I never tell the truth, so. But this one is the truth. What's she's Halloween? Yeah. And true. what's your birthday? Mine is April first. <laughs> April first. <laughs> Mine is actually April first. And and you? March twelfth. Oh, that's a good day. Three twelve. I like it. Wow. Yeah. Oh, wow. Doesn't even get a holiday. <laughs> Are you really April Fools? I feel like my whole life is April Fools. I think every day is is pretty much April Fools. So you got a Halloween and an April Fool. And, and then March twelfth. And then March twelfth. <laughs> somehow I don't think so. You're the drummer, so you've got a lot of power. Mm. These guys are actually probably one of, the, if not my favorite, one of my favorite bands in the world. Right so are you excited to play tonight? I'm excited to see you guys play tonight. I'm excited to get pizza. We've yeah. been holding out to get pizza all day. So, so do you, where, did you pick out a pizza place? There's only like 500. There's only 500. Yeah, so right on 14th Street. We'll probably go to all of them. Oh, that's a smart move. Every last pizza place. Yeah, but you, you got to get the good New yeah. York pizza. I just want anything as long as I'm eating something. Yeah, well, you are eating something. <laughs> so do you have a website? How do people find you? You can find us on Facebook, you can find us on Etsy, you can find us on Bandcamp, you can find us on YouTube, you can find us on Tumblr, MySpace, Reverb Nation, just Google our name. I don't think anyone else is taking it. <laughs> That's good. That's always a good thing, right? So um, what are your big dreams for your for your, what'd you say, your music sucks, for your sucky music? <laughs> <laughs> No, I think we're always gonna suck. Um, Cut that. To fool people into thinking that we are good. They fool me. Ah, that's my dream. What's your dream? Who writes the songs? All of us. Yeah. The dentist, Mr. Glenn. <laughs> he passes them in. The dentist. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, yeah. What were you saying? Uh, we all kind of write them. Yeah. Like team effort. Can you can you who's who's the singer? You? Well, All of you. Yeah. So can you guys sing something a cappella right now, like a chorus? Or something? Abby's the only one who knows how to actually sing. She like she's professionally trained. Oh, that makes sense. I believe. Who <laughs> <laughs> That's Devil's haircut. You can do that. I love your hair. 
So, yeah, um, you can do that. They can do devil's hair cut out. Let's, let's hear a chorus of some sort. Okay. Can we do a cover? <laughs> yeah, you can do a cover. <laughs> there we go. Oh, he's covering his ears. Good job. <laughs> Come on, Abby. Okay, this song's called After Hours. One, two, three. If you close the door, then I collapse forever. Leave the sun shine out and say hello to never. All the people are dancing and they're having such fun. I wish it could happen to me. When you close the door, I never have to see the day again. Yay! But doesn't the drummer sing that song? Yeah! Uh huh. That's a great song. I love that song so much. Good choice, Abby. Wow. So, Mr. Clit and the Pink Cigarettes. Woohoo! Hey, Abby, what was your first trip to New York all about? Oh, oh, um. Big star. <laughs> uh, Were you on Broadway? No. Well, the senior year of high school, I won a Shakespeare competition in Indiana and went to the Nationals in New York, and I was a finalist. Wow, what'd you have to say? What part? Um, I did a monologue from King John. I was Constance, and then I had to do a sonnet. Wow, you know, much ado about nothing is opening on Friday. Do you, do you like Shakespeare? Um, I like some Shakespeare. I actually, much do about nothing. So my least favorite. Well, the guy who's in it, the guy who's in it was on um, Craig Ferguson last night, and he was saying how he hates Shakespeare, yeah. and he's so happy he can write it off now. <laughs> he did it. He's done with it. And and um, I don't know. It's in it. Do you like Shakespeare, Asia? Do you know who Shakespeare is? Yeah. You do? Yeah. Do you have a favorite one? No, I don't know much Shakespeare. Well, Asia, you came to New York prior to playing here too, right? Because last year, Davey was the only one that hadn't been here. Yeah. But he, t he put his feet in every ocean or something like that. Yeah, I touched all the waters. And then I touched the water of that fountain. That in Washington Square Park. Yeah. Did you see any mermaids? I looked, but there was none in there. <laughs> I bet Asia is related to a mermaid. She kind of looks like she could be a mermaid. Is Ursula considered a mermaid? <laughs> no, Ursula's an octopus. I know. Did <laughs> you didn't know that? Yeah, but she's half person. She can't be all octopus. She's an octopus. Uh, so who's your favorite Disney princess? Aurora. Okay. You look like her too. Yeah, you do. Who's your favorite Disney princess? Ariel. Oh, you got the hair for that. Who's your favorite Disney princess? Todd from Fox and the Hound. <laughs> that works. That works. That works. Yeah, I like it. So, um, do you guys have any last shout outs, or do you have a good skeleton in the closet that I'd love to hear about? A real one? I wish we had. Uh, did you do cow tipping when you were a kid or anything like that? Thank goodness. Um, they, they, they saw me on New Year's, the day before New Year's Eve put on a show. <laughs> we convinced our friend Jake that, um, hey, if he sees us, he'll know. Oh, crap. Should I say it? Go ahead. We convinced Jake that uh, we had met, and it was really poop, and he ate it. <laughs> Wait a minute. We're not lying. <laughs> Wait a minute. He was, he was so far drunk. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> meth and poop are not the same well, color no. at all. Even, even like, grossly made meth is not the same. Like, that's real? Yes, yeah, so it's oh, totally no. real. Was it heroin? It was that's something. different. It was heroin, but it was dried up poop from my that's chihuahuas. Different. It was really tiny little pellets, and he put it under his tongue. And we didn't ask him, but he told us that it was delicious. <laughs> oh, God, you guys suck. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I did yeah. once? It was really funny. Um, I was at this party at my friend's apartment, and uh, we were all young and shit. And uh, I was into this thing where I would take a beer that had a screw-on cap, and I would fill it up with water and put it back in the refrigerator with a screw-on cap back on because you'd never know that it wasn't open. And, you know, I'd always get my friend with that. He had Zima at this party, remember Zima? Which was clear. So I filled it up with water and I stuck it back in the six-pack. 
And then uh, one of my other friends showed up with a real douchebag. I mean, this guy just is one. Th he's the guy that walks into a party and he's just like, "Hey, what are all you fucks doing sitting around? Let's party!" Yeah. He's just like grab the bong out of somebody's hand and start smoking it, help himself to whatever, just being the king of the house, right? So we all hated him because we we're all just chilling, all wasted already. And he comes back and he's drinking. Uh, the, the two of them grab the Zima, right? One dude's drinking it, he salutes me, like right on. The other guy drinks it, he has a funny look on his face. Now I'm sitting wasted on the couch and see the funny look on his face, and I know what just happened. And I'm just watching it, and he's just like, I don't know, I don't know. Like, do you like the Zima stuff? The guy's like, yeah, it tastes good. And he goes, I don't know, mine tastes like water. It's weird. And he kept drinking it. And he goes, let me try yours. He goes, I don't get it, mine tastes like water. And I'm just sitting on the couch like, <laughs> of all the fucking assholes that could have gotten that bottle, the winner was that douchebag. And that's how you got your name, Pepe La Douche? <laughs> no. No, I, it's, I got my the, the Sac de Douche name from the uh, Battlefish <laughs> Translator. I was trying to write out douchebag to put on Facebook in French to insult the person in the next room. And uh, when I put in douchebag, it came up with Sac de Douche. And I'm like, Sac de Douche? That's fucking brilliant. I have to have that. That's funny. So you guys, any last shout outs? Anything? How, where do you go from New York? Uh, back to oh. home with them. Ah. Back to Ohio. Oh, so do you live in Ohio now? No, we live in Indiana, but uh, we Indiana came with our best go. friends, oh. and they live in Ohio. So Tom We're going to go play some shows with them. Nice. Good for you. Anything else you want to say, Asia? I love you, Mom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Ohio people. <laughs> 